hello assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you a very different kind of video tutorial where i'm making the model of neuron so it is an education related video first i'm going to draw the shape of cell body with some dendrites and the material which i'm using is packing material uh, like plastic and uh, it is similar to thermopole sheet but not the thermopole sheet so whichever material you uh, choose it is totally up to you it depends on the availability and it should be big enough and thick enough to make this model and now I'm going to draw the shape of exon and then I will roughly make the exon terminal and after that I will shape using hot knife right so in order to cut it smoothly and evenly you need to make the knife hot after every few seconds or after every uh, small cuts right so here I have totally completely cut this shape and I haven't shown all the cutting process because it is very difficult to capture the cutting uh, indoor and now for the organelles I am using this thermopole sheet which is very thin and I have purposely chosen this thin sheet because I need to uh, keep the th uh, organelles as uh, thin as possible and as small as possible right and now we will color them I'm using acrylic colors for those who don't know who, what acrylic colors are they come in tubes and you need to use water to dilute them a bit and then just simply color them however you can also use poster colors so we will color each and every organelle one by one and don't forget to color on the sides By the way, I accidentally missed the part of tutorial where I coated the main piece that is the cell body and exon with tissue papers using the white glue and brush. So that is very important thing to do, although it is time consuming, but it makes the surface smooth and easy to work with and to apply the colors. So here are the colors. These are acrylic colors which comes in tubes and I have used dark blue color and white color to create this color. Now as you can see while, while coloring that this is a smooth surface which is easy to color. So the coating which I mentioned earlier helps to color uh, it easily right and I, I, I again repeat that you can coat this surface with the help of white glue and tissue paper pieces to make it smooth. As we know that thermopole sheet or this plastic packing material have tiny pores and they absorb the color. So coating the surface before coloring makes it more smooth and easy to work with. Now I am also making the um, uh, portion of cell membrane with this red color and I'm filling the inner parts with this and I will keep on repeating this process till the end of the cell body and in this way I will complete this coloring till here and now I'm going to start this exon portion you can note the difference between the first segment and the second and then the third and fourth right you can note that the first and third segment of exon are swollen which means that they haven't been cut 
and the second and fourth one are cut from the top so that I may show the inner parts or inner structure right that's why for third and fourth segment of exon I'm using various colors and here I'm using the red color I um, mistakenly used red color on the outer boundary which I will later mask with the yellow color now the space which I have left here I will color it with pink color to show the chevron cells right now this is the surface which I will go into and here for the first and third segment we simply need to color it with single color because they will show the myelin sheath only right and we need to color on the sides and back as well and now I will mask this outer boundary of the red color and now I will color on all the rest of the three sides here these are for the cell body I'm using red color here and on these sides as well to complete this portion as well and now I will color these exon terminals using brown color so here it is it is very easy to color them so I haven't shown it now this is the last part where I'm using white glue and brush I have mixed few drops of water with it and now I'm going to apply white glue on the back side of these organelles one by one and I will paste them on the inner side in a dip depression of this cell body which I created earlier and leave them for some time and let them dry and our project is done I hope you will like the video and if you do please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon and keep it to all so that you may receive all my notifications in coming days.